The White House has spelled out its new guidelines for attacking illegal immigration, but it's still unclear how authorities will target and deport people who are living in the U.S. illegally. Carter Evans went to the front lines of the nation's border battle and saw an illegal immigrant being detained by local law enforcement in Arizona. He's at the Pima County Sheriff's Office in Tucson. Carter, good morning. Good morning. The sheriff here is welcoming the president's plan to immediately hire 5,000 new Border Patrol agents. But the White House also wants immigration help at a local level. And here, they say they've already got their hands full. He appeared seemingly out of nowhere in the middle of the Arizona desert. And water was the first thing he pleaded for when he spotted Deputy Carl Woolridge, second in command at the Pima County Sheriff's Department. What's the story here? Hey, sir, he's an undocumented alien. The 24-year-old told us he left his wife and young child in Mexico before crossing the border on Monday to look for work in the U.S. And he admitted it was at least the second time he's entered the country illegally. No agua para cuatro días. No water for four days. He walked roughly 60 miles from the border through the barren desert before flagging down Deputy Woolridge. Is this unusual? Not at all. Even though Jesus is suspected of breaking federal law, it's not something Deputy Woolridge can enforce. Mark Napier is Pima County's newly elected Republican sheriff. That's not a problem for a local sheriff. My responsibility is public safety in this county. That's my responsibility. The Department of Homeland Security is now asking local law enforcement to go a step further by voluntarily acting as an immigration officer for purposes of enforcing federal immigration law. We have our plate full. Uh, our jail is nearly full, um, and I don't have excess deputies. Sheriff Napier's 500 sworn officers protect roughly a million residents across 9,000 square miles along the southern border. If your deputies are viewed as immigration enforcers, how does that impact their ability to do their job? Well, first of all, we wouldn't get a lot of the calls that we get. I mean, uh, where people witness crimes or are victims of crime out of fear that that would lead to deportation. So unless there's a federal mandate ordering them to take undocumented immigrants into custody, the Pima County Sheriff's Department will continue to turn them over to the Border Patrol. What happens now? I really don't know. This is where your job ends? This is, this is it. Now, the Border Patrol agent told me that while Jesus is in custody, they're going to confirm his story and see if he has any outstanding arrest warrants here in the U.S., and then, most likely, he'll be sent right back to Mexico. Nora? What a story. Carter, thank you. Incredible to see that.